dangerous cookware to avoid. Titanium is best. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, health conscious people, and I know many of them, go to great lengths to eat only organic foods with no preservatives. But the cookware that you use to cook your food is also very important. Why? Because cookware can leach dangerous chemicals and heavy metals into the food that you eat over time, which can accumulate in your body. This has been proven. And some of these chemicals are more dangerous than any man-made preservative or artificial substances. So you really want to try to avoid or minimize your use of dangerous cookware and use the safest cookware that's available. So what cookware is dangerous? Well, here's the list. Teflon cookware probably is the most dangerous. Aluminum cookware, copper cookware, and then even cast iron cookware has some drawbacks, as does ceramic cookware, enamel cookware, glass cookware. Even surprising that glass cookware would be a problem, but many, a lot of glass cookware contains some lead, actually. And even stainless steel cookware can leach certain metals into the foods that you're eating. So they all have some problems that you should be aware of. Titanium cookware is actually the best. It doesn't react with, with the food while you're cooking the food in the cookware. Experts say that part of a prudent cancer prevention program is the use of high quality titanium cookware. Uh, it's a, the premium titanium cookware costs a bit more but it appears to be worthwhile as an investment from a health standpoint. So to get the details click on the link below to read my blog article on this subject. You'll see the scientific reference there as well. It'll explain how the different types of cookware are dangerous and exactly how it all works. It's really worth a read. So click on the link below and take a look at my article there at machinohealth.com. Other downloads and resources I've created to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research, review papers, and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll see you're only getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So you should use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching. Fires have become popular as more people eat at home during the COVID crisis. The utensils make cooking easier, but the Consumer Council warns that there are pitfalls. Air fryers save time and are easier to clean. Their makers also claim that it's a healthier and more convenient way to cook. The Consumer Council put the claims to a test and checked 12 models costing between $298 and $2,080. The watchdog found that chips air fried in six models contained excessive acrylamide, which causes cancer. The French fries cooked in this model contained over 7,000 microgram per kilogram of acrylamide, exceeding the European Union level by 13 times. Food containing large amounts of asparagus, such as potatoes, are more likely to produce acrylamide when cooked with little water in temperatures above 120 degrees Celsius. The council reminds consumers to control the intake of foods that have been air fried at high temperature or long duration and not to lower the safeguard simply because air frying is deemed to be a healthier cooking method. The risk of intaking acrylamide can be lowered by adjusting the cooking time and temperature in accordance with the amount of ingredients. The watchdog also found that six models pose safety risks. Three had an insufficient insulation distance, which could cause a short circuit, leakage or overheating. There is an excessive rise in temperature in some part of these models. And one has an inadequate earthing terminal for grounding protection. The council said users must let air fryers cool down before cleaning them.